our first line, obviously, Connor Brown and Tarasenko. We got to play beside Connor Bedard. We can always upgrade this spot. Because, like, you move Connor Brown down. Well, that turns into a minus two, but whatever. But our coach can also be replaced. He, bad coach, clearly. Tyler Johnson, Kessel. Like, we're, we're going to be a bad team. But if you remember from last episode, we have our pick, our first rounder, and I think we have Tampa's. We have the Leafs' first rounder next year. We can look at that now. I don't mind. If you guys don't mind. Uh, we're 74 mil. We're just at the cap floor. So we can always make a big trade if we really wanted to. Um, we have our pick, Lightning's pick. We have two seconds and one, two, three, four thirds. A fifth, a sixth, a seventh. Uh, and the, okay, next year we got the Leafs first. In 2026. We only have ours. All right, so let's edit our trade block so we don't get uh, um, there we go. A second was a browse trade block or edit trade block. Um, nope, nope. I'll leave those draft picks. What do I want? I need first line forward or top. Yeah, I want a top two D. Like if I'm gonna trade. I want that. Second line forward is actually fine. Forward, first line forward. Those are what I want. If we're even to trade anything, we don't have a lot of, we don't have a lot of prospects. We have the prospects we just drafted. That's about it. Our scouts, I did hire. We didn't have all three USA East scouts, now we should. USA East, West, Central. We don't need two guys there. So we're going to change his region. Um, we don't have anyone in Dell. 12, 14. Yeah, you go to Dell. That is where you go. Oh, we gotta tell them to scout people now, too. Hey, look at that. Bam. Alright, everyone else. Oh, God, scout people, man. EA beak. Look, look at this. You were just not gonna scout these guys? Good grief, my man. S H okay. <laughs> do do do. Potential. All right, like look at this. Look at all these draft picks. Would you scout a guy? Ta-da. All right. Anyone else barely doing anything with their lives? These two guys are barely doing anything with their lives. Like, come on, guys. Like, we're trying to rebuild a franchise here. And you guys don't want to scout people? Look, look at all this micromanaging I have to do. And WHA got... See, the WHL guys life together. All right, cool. Cool, cool, cool. All right. Let's go. This uh, this will probably be a rebuild. And yes, we'll probably take it right up to the trade deadline. But, this is Connor Bedard's first game. I say we jump in. Only gonna do the first period. Let's see if he gets his first goal or assist. Coaching. Oh, they're showing Tarasenko. What jerseys do they have? That does not look good. That looks okay. That looks weird. That looks weird too. That looks okay-ish. A little weird. A little weird. They just added little things on that. Stadium. The black jersey is always good. That jersey was always good. The black jersey is always a banger. Do we not have a black? We don't have the black jersey anymore. All right. And <laughs> no. 
There we go. I'm the coach, right? All right. Let's go in. Let's go see if Connor Bedard can score his first goal. Like I said, I'll do the first period. Ah. Uh, let's see. Jack Hughes, Nico Hirsche. That's what we need. Honestly, I think we need not not well, one of those two guys would be great. But we need that second line or elite center. Like, there's Crosby, Malkin, there's Leon Dreisaitl, McDavid, there's Nathan McKinnon, and uh, what's the other center? Oh, wow. I feel bad coming off the anthem. All right. Uh, let's see, do I have to stop these guys from talking? Nope, good. All right, Seth Jones, Tarasenko, Connor Bedard. Bedard walks right in. Oh, holy crap, Bedard almost scored right away. Oh, Bedard's hurt. No. They hurt. They hurt Connor Bedard in the first shot. Oh, no. Knock him out, Seth. Oh, bam! Someone hit him. The, well, good fight. We already lost Conor Bedard. 30 seconds into the video. Alright. So, the whole purpose of me to go in was to see his first goal. Ah, oh, god dang it. I'll wait for stuff to end here. <laughs> the first game in gets hurt. Team Omeyer. Alright. Now I should be able... Can I look at the medical center? I can't look at the medical center. Interesting. They don't have a medical center. Alright, well... He's not injured injured. So, he could be back. I'm sadly just gonna exit the game here. Yeah. I'm gonna exit the game. And I'll see you back on the main screen. Alright, boys. He's out. I think, uh, I think I skipped past it really quickly. But I think he's out only for a couple days. But still, what a bummer. How dare they do that to us in the first game? Hopefully that isn't a sign of things to come. Just a little shaken up. We gotta win. Alright, he's back. Okay. That's <laughs> that doesn't bode well, man. Your first game of your career, you get hurt. <laughs> Jesus my man. Your ice time was thirty five seconds, that's what that was. Alright. I'm clearly going to have to edit the thing because you guys saw the thing. So, I'm now... What I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into the game. I might watch the whole game. Alright? So, I'll see if he gets a point. If he gets a point or assist, I'll cut to it. If not, I'll just see you at the end of the game. Tarasenko, Bedard, Brown scores! Hey, if anything, that's Connor Bedard's first career on Inshall Point. That Tarasenko, the Connor Brown, whoo. His first career at NHL Point is an assist. I got that of this whole video. Alright boys, we lost that game, but as you saw, Conor Bedard got the only assist of the game. Him and Tarasenko scored on Conor Brown's goal. I watched the whole game, Conor Brown took two penalties. Alright, I got around 20 minutes left in this recording thing I can do. So let's jump in to this game versus Patrick Kane and the New York Rangers. See if Bedard could score. Fox scores. Conor Brown scores on the power play. Phil Kessel scores. Patrick Kane scores. 
Zaitsev scores in overtime. Let's see if our franchise man got any points there. He did not. He was a minus one. Come on, franchise man. I'm expecting this kid to score a point a game already. That's crazy. All right. Hey, Connor Brown's doing well, and he's on line with Connor Brown, so everything's just going to work out. We're just going to simulate till this kid scores his first goal. Does he score versus Montreal? First period, nothing. Second period, nothing. Third period, we get shut out. That's to be expected. We aren't a good team. It's just sad that he still hasn't scored. He's supposed to be the franchise. Good for you, guy. Facing the Leafs and Canadians and then Columbus. Hopefully he scores one of these games. My God. All right. Game taking a while to load in there. All right. First period. Three goals. Knives scores. Connor Brown scores. Kessel scores. Monahan scores. Kessel scores again. Second period. Reichel scores. McCabe and Matthews. This is a shootout here in Toronto. Matthew scores again. Tav Tavares scores. Tavares scores. Can Kessel get a hat trick? Dadanoff scores. What a shootout. Come on, boys. We get a power play. Connor Brown scores. All right. Let's see if Bedard got a point there. I hope he did. He might not have got a point. In that shootout, Connor Bedard did not get a point. Good lord. Alright. I mean, Connor Brown scoring, good for him, but I need the kid to score. Connor Brown should be on, or Dard's on the power play, right? No, they put Dadanoff on the power play instead of Connor Dard. Why? Because he got injured? It just auto took him out? Alright, I'll be back. boys we're back uh the game took out Connor Bedard for the power plays guess from when he got injured guess that makes sense I'm not mad at it uh <laughs> he would have got power play goals and one power play points in one of those games so if the kids had some injuries no we're, we're playing him slow into it all right um Reichel Jones Tarasenko those two guys are first liners but hey hey we're gonna see this kid's first goal at some point at this point now, I'm going to remember when he scored his first goal. The things I do, Kershev. But speaking from, I spoke to it earlier, we need a second line center for the future. So after this game, we might look at the draft prospects. Pool Jahari scores. Hey, we get a win. Karn Bedard get a point now. He did. He got a point. That's good. You know, maybe saving his first goal for Sidney Crosby. And Connor Brown is looking like a good pickup. Low key. I don't know if anyone would be mad at me for grabbing Connor Brown, but he looks good. No, all the game. We won't be doing all the games like this. I'm just trying to find his first goal. First period, 2 nothing Columbus. Reichel. Oh, Lord. And... 10 minutes left. Connor Bedard. 
Get a goal, my man. Pass a puck. Something. Two. One. Oh, no. Hey, man. Kid will go from, like, scoring 70 goals in the WHL to not scoring a goal in his first nine games. Ooh, minus three. He's only played six games. Yeah, we got to remember, he missed, like, the first couple games. Come on, you got to score against Pittsburgh. Come on, man. You got to score against Sidney Crosby and Evgeny Malkin. Let's go. First period. Raquel scores two goals. Connor Brown scores a power play goal. Ooh, we get a power play. Nothing. This kid's really going to drag this out. All right, down four, one, five, one. Simulate the end of that game. Holy crap, Askus. I didn't think it would be this hard to see Carmen Bedard's first goal. All right, he has two games here against Calgary and Win or Vancouver. Let's go. Hurry up. Come on, game. Let's go, Chicago. 4 1. Connor Brown, Shattenkirk, Kurosev, Giapani, Blackwell. Second period. Tarasenko and Blackwell again. Third period. Seth Jones. He still has yet to score a goal. He had two assists, though, in that game. All right. It's Connor, Connor Brown's at a point per game pace. All right, can he score his first goal against the Vancouver Canucks? Let's go. First period, no goal. Second period, Connor Brown. Come on, Connor Bedard. <laughs> score a bloody goal, my man. Ten minutes left versus Vancouver. Kuzmenko scores a goal. Three minutes, two, one. No goals, no points. And check the points. He did get an assist. Am I worried about him? Not really. Kind of worried. I haven't seen Tarasenko score a lot since I've been in here. He's up to an 82. He has six assists in 10 games. That's not bad. Ugh. I think we just keep going. We got 13 minutes left I can save. All right. The, we at this point we gotta see him score a goal, do we not? I can just do the rest in the video, another video. So he's not bad. He's above like half a point a game. He could easily get up to a point per game if he would score some damn goals. Zaitsev scores. Doesn't help that we suck. Power play. They get a power play. They score. Radish scores. Lucas Reichel scores. Second and third line. Um. Yep. No goals. Did he get a point that game? He did not. And he was minus three. Colorado and St. Louis. No, if anything, this kid's about to turn Connor Brown into a 30-goal scorer. First period, three goals. 
Reichel, Radish, and Brown. Second period. They tie it up. Can Conor Bedard score? Reichel scores. Conor Bedard is going to go on a streak once I just stop doing this live simulations. Rantanen scores. It's all tied up. Seven, six, five, four, three, four, three, two, one. And overtime. Nothing. Nothing. Did he at least get a point there? He did not. He had four shots, though. He's trying. I gotta give him that at least. Oh, boys. All right. I gotta say, I think... Connor Brown is playing well, but Connor Brown might be stealing goals from him. What if we put Phil and Tarasenko up there together? That seems like I'm stealing more goals from him, honestly. Connor Brown's been our best player, so that's a great sign in for us. Alright, first period. Two goals. Connor Brown still. And Kershev. Kershev off second period. Tarasenko scores. Alright, we're well, down th four to three. Tyler Johnson gets a goal. Tarasenko scores. Alright. Don't let his first goal be an empty netter. Falk ties it up. Kessel scores. The first line is scoring. Johnson scores on the second line with uh, Connor Brown. Maybe these lines are better. Three minutes, two, one, zero. Let's see how that... That was a beautiful game. Connor Bedard didn't get a point. Are you serious? His line mate scored all those goals. He got he's a plus two though. That's crazy. I feel if I wasn't watching this and everything would be better. Alright, can he beat Winnipeg? First period, we're down to nothing. Second period, we score a goal, it's Johnson. Third period. Murphy, there you go. Alright, let's keep it moving. I guess we'll get to December in this video, and I'll do the rest in another video. And hopefully Conor Bedard, Bedard has a goal by then. Maybe having Kessel and Tarasenko on the first line together ain't good, though, because they're both shooters. First period, nope. Second period, nope. Third period, Bedard finally scores! It's a game winner too. His first goal is a game winner with a minute left. Oh, this entire video has been dedicated to you, buddy. Praise the Lord. Whew. It's finally over, Bedard. One goal, six assists. Alright. Now I can just simulate. F Fifty three minutes. Oh, let's let's get up here to Philly. Mid December. Let's see like one goal, six assists, something like that. And we can, yeah, we can end the video once we get up there. We'll look at what prospects are around the league. It's odd we'll replace that defenseman. We just lost three in a row. We beat Minnesota.
Now I'm going to continue for a little bit. Uh, Connor Murphy is someone we have, so I feel I should insert him back in. Tarasenko is still a point per game. You know what? Even so, Connor, Brown, or Connor Bedard being on that line is at least good. If they're a point per game, he's not fired off. At least getting that experience with them. Three goals, 11 assists in 22 games. It's not bad, especially for a rookie. Um, to do Mitchell was the one thrown in. Good for Mitchell. Okay, we have our pick and the Lightning's pick. How are the Lightning doing? Lightning are dead last, but they win two games and they're in the playoffs and they win three games there in first place. All right, I got a couple more minutes to shave here. Let's go up to January. January 1st seems like a good day. Beat Minnesota. Do we beat Montreal? Good, we lost, but we got a point. That kind of sucks. Let's replace player. We beat Pittsburgh. Beat Philly. Well, we get destroyed by Calgary. And we beat Anaheim. Um, I don't know if I have the defenseman for that. Connor Bedard jump up to an 85. He has four goals, 14 assists. Brown slowed down. Hmm. Maybe we should throw Tyler Johnson up there. Kessel there. Yeah, Radish ain't doing much. Kessel got eight of them things. Seth Jones is ready to return? Uh, I'd be putting him early. But whatever. He gets hurt again, he gets hurt again. I'm fine with losing game. Um, but this is pushing it close, so... Oh, is this going to keep simming? That's cool. Oh, I can't see what's happening, though. Hey, he's fully healed. He's fine. Head coach replace player. 12, 14, and 4. Come on. Hurry up, simulation. Hey, there we go. 15, 15. Damn, we're kind of near a playoff spot. The Lightning are still last. They're, they're a couple points behind. That's good for us. Maybe they have injuries we don't know about. Alright, uh, let's look at our points. Tarasenko 31, Kessel 29, 27. We have a lot of 10 goal scorers. Con Bedard is up to 19 points. So, you know, he might be a 40, 50 point guy in his rookie year. That's not bad. Um, really quick, let's look at the prospects. Where would that be? Right here. Alright. Caswell is the top guy. I'm... You know what? Oh, okay. We need to scout these guys. Alright. I'm gonna end the video here. I will scout. Send some scouts. Some scouts are already sent out. But I'll make sure all the scouts are being scouted. Alright. 
I'll see you in the next one, and at least Conbedard got a goal. See you then. See you next time.